Oh my God, Joe Rogan addressed the kitty litter story? Shut the fuck up. That's crazy. No shot. From last week, you know, that got spread around as a meme because it kind of happened, right? Or the kitty litter boxes in schools from last week, you know, that got spread around as a meme because it kind of fit the conservative view of, you know, liberals and their confusion about gender and sex and... and, and but and, the kitty litter... Yeah, totally, dude. Totally. Totally. It fit. It fit their fucking, uh, it fit the conservative opinion of what liberals are like. As in, yeah, conservatives are fucking insane, so they just think whatever the fuck about liberals. So, of course, it's going to fit their fucking understanding of what liberals are like. Because they're insane. It's, my, it's your fault that I'm out of my fucking mind. That's literally the narrative now. Hey, have you considered that I... I'm so brain broken and so mentally ill and have lost my fucking mind on the internet that like I could believe this about you. Their boxes is a weird one. It is weird. It's, you like, know, it's more I, like an urban legend. I, I fed into that and let me, I should probably clarify that a bit. I have a friend and my friend's wife is a s school teacher. Bro, we know it wasn't your fucking friend's wife, dog. Why are you still saying that? You watched the same Facebook clip that every other person your age group watched, and you believed it. The difference is all those other people in your group of friends believe dumb shit, but they don't have 90 million psychos listening to them. Just fucking own up to it, man. Be a goddamn man. Just be like, hey, man, I got got. I believed in some dumb shit that obviously is not real, okay? Everyone here believes it right now? What? No one, no one in here believes it, you fucking... What? <laughs> oh, you mean at your town? Oh, boy, everyone is convinced it's true in my town. Yeah, holy shit, dude. Yeah, because of fucking dumbasses like Joe Rogan and everyone else. In my community, I ban a lot of people that say, Hassan, you backtracking right now. Hassan, you're backtracking. That's backtracking. Because I think you should have space for growth and change. When you acknowledge that you're wrong on something and you, you say you're wrong on it and then you move on and you correct the record, that's a good thing. If Joe Rogan did that, that would be a good thing. But he wouldn't have the same fucking spicy meatball psycho fan base that he loves. Okay? It's been weeks, bro. It's been weeks. Why did you not fucking immediately address it and say, yo, I was wrong about that. That's crazy. It takes balls to admit when you're in the wrong. And she told him that there was discussions in the school that a mother wanted to put a litter box in one of the bathrooms. And he told me this, and I talked about it on here. And then people were saying, that's not true. It's an inter internet rumor. So I contacted him again. And I said, tell me exactly what she said and contact her and find out. She no longer works at that school. She works for another school. Mm. She contacted the other school. She didn't get a response. I don't think they actually did it. I think there was this. Dude, 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 dude. Come on, dude. Discussions mm. about doing it because there was one particularly wacky mother, but there is, it doesn't seem that there's any proof that they put a litter box in there. The reason why I was interested in it and willing to entertain it was there was about uh, 10 years or so ago, we went to, uh, there was a UFC in Pittsburgh. And when we went there, as we landed, we were driving from the airport to the hotel, we see all these people with mascot outfits on. We're like, what is going on? <laughs> And we talked, dude. What the fuck, dude? He's crazy right now. He's crazy right now, dude. That is bananas, dude. What the fuck? He saw furries. He saw furries at a fucking furry con, and he thought, well, this is exactly what's going on in our schools right now. You know what's really funny? Do they even have kitty litter at fucking furry con or whatever? Like, do the furries piss and shit in kitty litter even at furry con? I don't think so. What the fuck's he talking about?
furry con. He's going to ask how they go to the bathroom when and doesn't realize they wear diapers. Yeah, what the fuck? Talked to this guy, and he said, there's a furry convention in town. Oh, right. And I said, wow, this is crazy. So they all decided to get together. So they were at bars and on the streets, and it was like a get-together. They used to do it in San Diego, but at the time, San Diego was a little bit more conservative, and they were having a hard time doing it, so they moved it to Pittsburgh. And this was the year they moved it to Pittsburgh. Mm. This is according to him. So we check into the hotel. The hotel, uh, the guy who was working the front desk was t saying how crazy it was. That these folks were asking for their food to be delivered in bowls on the ground <laughs> so they could eat it like animals. <laughs> and I'm like, that is crazy. And then he said, they asked for a litter box in the lobby. <laughs> now, they didn't. I don't believe that either. I don't believe that either. I, I'm going to call Cap on that. Wait, for real? I don't believe that. I don't believe that either. Like, we know what the origin story of the kitty litter is. The reason why they have kitty litter at fucking schools is because of school shootings. We know that. You probably watched my coverage on it if you're in here. If you haven't watched my coverage on it, when Joe Rogan was fucking blasting the timeline with that dumb idiocy, we found out very quickly that that wasn't the real reason. The real reason why people were thinking that people were shitting on fucking kitty litter boxes or whatever was because of this really nefarious, awful conspiracy theory that originated from... When the fuck? Wait, did it not get posted? Did I not publish that? The kitty litter thing? Holy shit, I post so much. Or maybe I didn't. Anyway, whatever. It was a clip that was deceptively edited that showed... That they had kitty litter boxes. They had kitty litter and, and buckets in classrooms because this one school had a policy uh, for lockdowns during a school shooting. How American. How American to look at a situation where there's a fucking lockdown of schools because of gun, uh, because of gun violence happening at schools, clipping that nefariously. Oh, here it is. Holy shit. I All right, close. let's talk about... Yeah, this is it. Thank you. The truth about litter boxes in schools, okay? That only got 138,000 views. That's crazy. Wait, why is the kitty litter used in context of school shootings? Am I cra Am I stupid? Um, because you can't leave your fucking, you can't leave to take a pee or a poo during a fucking sh uh, lockdown during a school shooting. Kitty litter is also apparently used to clean vomit and other fluids too. That's why they have it. I tweeted about it as well, yes. Joe Rogan spread an insane lie about LGBT youth accommodations in schools getting litter boxes to use when the reality was that these buckets full of kitty litter were for school shooting lockdowns. It's the perfect awful story that shows dangerous bias misinformation spreading. What the fuck is this, bro? It's, it's my editor trying to get me fucking canceled again by lying because that's, I don't know, that's the only type of jokes he makes. There was a bomb threat at my college, and there were people pissing in buckets. Yeah. Uh, I don't understand how kitty litter and school shootings are related. Bro, I explained it like eight times. What the fuck's going on? When there's a school shooting happening, sometimes children want to piss or shit, but they can't leave the classroom because they're locked down. So they piss and shit in the fucking bucket. It's used for emergencies. It's an emergency toilet. It also has a tendency to fucking uh, clean vomit and blood, too. Apparently, that's another reason why they use it. It also isn't like a, like a very popular concept. This is like one school in fucking Colorado or some shit put a litter box into the lobby but someone according to this man asked him for a litter box mm. i'm like that is crazy so i went and did a deep dive online i went to forums where furries go because i was trying to find like is this a thing do mm -hmm. they like to use litter boxes 
out of all of my searching. This motherfucker went and what? He looked at furry? Like, I did a little bit of Googling, and I realized that I'm into furry porn, okay? And I want to apologize to the furry community because uh, sexy-ass wolves uh, that are super jacked and brolic, kind of my thing now. I could only find one poster, one guy who said he had used a litter box. Mm. So this one person who was saying that he thought it was kinky and he liked to use it, he, they, it, them, whatever, liked to use a litter box. Mm. So that was all I could find. So is that something that people do, or is it something that people talk about doing because it's fun? I don't know. But one of the things that I found about these furries is, like, it's sexual. Bro, they were, they were fucking probably trolling, dog. But you are so brain broken, dude. COVID hit everyone differently. Still love you for who you are, though. What? In mm. some sort of weird way. They, they, they like to get together and have sex with their furry outfits on. Mm. And they don't want people to know who they are or what they they want to keep the outfits on. So it's a cosplay kind of thing. Yeah, it's like a cosplay kink thing oh, yeah. that some people yeah. engage in. Like, yeah. How that got connected to gender, I do not understand. Because it seems to be a completely... I mean, he's kind of arriving at the truth. Like, uh, I wonder how, Joe... How did that get connected to gender, Joe? Who did that, Joe? Who? Who did that, Joe? Who was it, I wonder? Huh. We're all trying to figure out who did this, okay? It's literally hot dog man in the hot dog car. We're all trying to figure out who's responsible for connecting furries to, to sexuality and gender. Who done it? A different sort of kink. But what I think people have concern with is that it's nonsense and that it's crazy. And if this nonsense starts getting into schools. And now this is the final stage of copium, okay? Where he's like, well, you know, people were just worried about the slippery slope. I know we just made this shit up. I know we just like connected it for no fucking reason. But now we're going to move on and, and act like there is a legitimate reason for why we did any of this shit when, it, when there's, no, there's no connection. You tied it together. You made up the fucking false story. And now you're saying, well, what about, what if it did happen? Then it would be bad. Yeah, okay, dude. Because there are, Jamie, what was the thing that you were telling me? There was someone was telling you about one kid thinks they're a wolf and they... And they Honestly, don't know if the, I I I still need to. I think it's a. I think they're trolling. I think there's something. Maybe, that happened but on you know, in, um, right, got out of hand. Yes, yes. Thank you, Jamie. Holy fuck, Jamie is alive. That's crazy. And um, in that film, what is a woman? Uh, Matt oh, there Walsh's was that film. one there, person yeah. that said that they were wolf. Yeah, wolf I mean, you can always you can always find somebody. Who's there is right. a report from ABC though, where they went and talked to a bunch of younger kids and parents that were having like a meeting, and they're like, "Our kids like to dress up and talk this way, but like you should see how different they are when they do it." Right. They went right. from being very reserved to like outgoing. And right, because it it allows them to when they pretend that they're a wolf, they can just be freer. So maybe they're like very shy. I remember exactly what video they're talking about. We watched it on stream too. Look, man, some people are fucking into weird shit. As long as it's not hurting anybody, okay? Just let people do whatever the fuck they want to do, okay? Yeah, people are into weird shit, okay? Who cares? Like, I wouldn't give a fuck about 90% of the dumb shit that conservatives believe in if they didn't make it their lives mission to hurt others with, okay? Like, conservative ideology, isolated in and of itself, is just you being a dumb motherfucker, okay? Problem is, you don't want to just be a dumb motherfucker. You literally have made it your life's mission to be a dumb motherfucker in public and constantly hurt other people, okay? It doesn't hurt, so why let it bother you? I, I think you're saying, yeah, to Joe, exactly. It's like, it's the same thing I say all the time about religion, bro. It, it, religion, as a, as a matter of personal preference, 
if it gives you comfort, if it helps you understand things that we cannot conceptualize, okay, in our minds, then great. Fine. Do it. It's fine by me. But people can't stop there. Actually, that's not true. A lot of people just stop there and they're like, religion is for me. It's a personal experience. It's whatever. I'm spiritual, blah, blah, blah. Okay. But they don't stop there. A lot of the people that we see in public are like, this is my religion. It's the right way to operate. And you have the wrong way to operate. So I'm going to do everything in my power to just like hurt you. It's fucked up. There are plenty of normal people who are just religious and they keep to themselves and they want to believe in God or whatever the fuck, okay? And that's fine. But evangelicals, especially by design, literally have to evangelize, okay? They have to turn around. Nice straw man. What? That's not a straw man. Learn, learn what words mean before you come in here and, like, throw fucking debate terms, Okay? evangelicals, unlike other kinds of Christianity, have to evangelize. They have to come to you, and they have to save you, okay? They have to save you because you're going to hell. So, like, a big part of their fucking religious understanding revolves around, like, trying to convert others. That's where you lose me. Or not even convert others, but also turn around and, like, change uh, rules, you know, introverted kids and this allows them like some form of escapism. Yeah. Like you said, like a yeah. cosplay type thing. Yeah. But so what happens then is, it, so there's an element of truth to the, and this is true with conspiracy theories, always a little, a little element of truth. And then it, it gets blown up into something else. And then right. if it gets politicized, oh, that's just the sort of thing those libtards would do in these schools. Right. trying to group. Please don't make it like Christianity is the only religion that has that ideology. No, I'm talking about evangelicals specifically. I literally specified a sect. It is more fundamentalist, but more importantly than fundamentalist, uh, they're, they're more interested in changing and converting people, okay? Yes. The only religion that doesn't do that is maybe Buddhism, but also Judaism is the only religion that actually, out of the Abrahamic religions, the only religion that doesn't, you know, uh, try to convert other people actively is Judaism. That's it. That's the only Abrahamic religion that doesn't uh, focus on conversion. Muslims do it too, not to the same degree as Christians, but Christians do it the most. Judaism literally makes it hard for you to convert. They're like, nah, you can't. We don't want you to. On Jewish. <laughs> Just like Trump said. You're wrong, no offense, religion bad. Oh my God, bro, oh my God. You just, dude, Reddit atheists hear me say, you can keep religion to yourself if it's a matter of personal uh, preference, and that's fine, and go, no, dude, I'm going to come to your house, and I'm going to stop you from believing whatever the fuck you want to believe in. Religion is bad. Like, shut the fuck up. You got Nick posted a clip of you? And you can watch and support whoever you want, but at least be honest with yourself about it. I've seen people be like, oh, yeah, she does like yoga at the beach and I've donated because she obviously can't afford a proper outfit. And I've been trying to learn yoga myself, you know? Yeah, okay, buddy. And I'm a tier three sub to Hassan for his political views. I'm sorry, what? Son of a bitch? <laughs> oh my God, he's literally tier two, three sub. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, dude. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, dude, he probably did this just for the fucking meme. No shot. Never typed in chat. Tier 3 sub. The perfect chatter. The perfect relationship with a streamer nice. and, and chatter. Thanks for unpausing the video, Hassan. Now, one thing Twitch is certainly known for. South Park episode on how one day streamers will watch streamers, watch streamers. I had no fucking idea how deeper the rabbit hole ended up going. It's a goat, dude. That's a goaded ass clip.
it's also ironic that this this video was way more popping than anything else. And yet people still, after this video came out, after this happened, people still went along with the narrative that I just like don't react to shit and I just leave my chair on. Supposed to show how fucking, you know, how well propaganda works. It's wild that people still think like there are still people out there who I will see going, Hassan never watches a video. He just like pause. He he will just pause, leave the fucking chair there. Groom our children. Right. You know, then, right. Then you get a moral panic. It's like the satanic panic of the of the 1980s. Mm -hmm. it started with that McMartin preschool uh, case in Manhattan Beach. Yeah. So Also, at the same time, you pre-watch the video, yeah. You're literally wrong. If religion is bad, or I'm going to come to your house and remind you it's the top of the hour ad time for a six-second ad break. And if you no longer want to see those ads, all you have to do is subscribe for $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime. Jesus Christ, dude. You're such a liar. Since your chair was left there at the end to watch the video, and Hosh Chair is the best streamer anyways. Yeah. Uh, am I going to play the Mortuary game tonight? No. 